I knew this was coming. There were warnings. On Tuesday, the U.S. Mint suspended Silver Eagle sales with the intent to resume selling in August. Major bullion dealers Atmex, Provident Metals, and DBS Coins are showing stock delays for many common silver products. As Andy Hoffman said this past December, in a SilverSeek article titled, Major Silver Shortage Must and Will Occur, there are essentially zero inventories of material size readily available for sale. Inevitably, a silver shortage of epic proportions is coming. Turmoil is sourced from the years-long government debt issue that came to a head last month when multiple debt payments were missed, equaling a technical default for Greece. Though plans to patch it are still being debated, recently Greece voted no to an austerity plan proposed by Europe. The Greek's prime minister had a meeting with Western adversary Vladimir Putin of Russia to perhaps discuss a counter plan for Greek solvency with Russia's help. The new deadline for Greece to make a deal is this coming Monday. Reports now say Greek people are panic buying kitchen appliances to bypass withdrawal restrictions. This crisis in Europe will inevitably hit the U.S. even harder soon and is likely a factor in recent U.S. located problems, including the stock market. The Dow, which is down over 1.5% for the year, went down 261 points Wednesday. On the same day, the New York Stock Exchange shut down for three and a half hours. Officials insisted that this was not the result of a cyber attack, despite issues with United Airlines causing the FAA to ground their flights and major websites going down such as the Wall Street Journal and Zero Hedge all in the same day. Norscope reported the Chinese DDoS attackers focusing on St. Louis Wednesday. Not to speculate too wildly, but could this be war games between China and the United States going on right now? Before the NYSE was shut down, Chinese stocks suffered huge declines, the biggest plunge for the Hang Seng Index since the 2008 financial crisis at 5.8%. The global economy is so dependent on China that if the country were to completely implode, a worldwide depression would likely result. Crazy enough, China has banned in many ways the selling of stocks. On July 8th, China's security regulator banned major company shareholders, corporate executives, and directors from selling their shares for six months. SHTF plan reports that retirement fund brokers also are not allowed to sell any shares. Imagine if this happened in America. The Shanghai Composite Index has fallen almost a third since peaking on June 12th. Trading was halted on 40% of the stocks. Again, this could be asymmetric warfare between the US and China, as we're both experiencing bizarre market problems simultaneously. Yesterday, the three-day BRICS summit began in Russia. As we predicted on May 15th, after OPEC did not cut oil production, we saw a short-term plunge with oil prices dipping down to the $50-$55 range. These lower prices can also be attributed to the most recent global economic headwinds. However, the good news for Americans is that they will enjoy the lower prices at the pump. Bitcoin has reached a four-month high back over $270. The GBTC stock and Bitcoin price are continuing to converge. We will likely see an overtake of $300 per Bitcoin within the next few months, especially as the euro crisis deepens. In budget news, the U.S. 2016 budget is under appropriations voting and Puerto Rico could see a shutdown in the next few weeks if creditors fail to renegotiate their debt.